Alrighty, finally made it back here to camp after another good day out on the water. Today is August 31st, and here's our buoy tent update. Uh, let's see. So I have, for the last five or six years, I've been doing these buoy tent updates. I have always said that these updates truly do not help you out there on the water because conditions change so quickly. And that was not more evident than today. So if you recall yesterday's update, I mentioned that we got all of our coho below the bridge and we did really, really well. Well, I went out there this morning and fished even lower down around checkerboard to start. And as soon as I put the lines in the water, everything was wrong. My screen looked wrong. The bait wasn't in the right places. Um, the water temp was off by about a degree, degree and a half. And I didn't see any fish. I didn't graph anything. So I ran upstream about two miles, dropped back in. We had one bite here, one bite there. I think we had four grabs, none of them hung. And the water temp was still off by a degree. We needed to make a change. And in just two tide cycles, those fish had moved another 10, 15 miles. So when you're chasing water temperatures up here, further upstream is warmer, further downstream is colder, regardless of the tide. It's just a matter of how far that you need to go. And so I kept running up river until we were pretty much at Tongue Point and just kept going up until I found the water temp that I liked and started fishing. And it still wasn't lights out, uh, but we ended up getting all 12 of our fish and most of it was above tongue, a little bit below, but pretty much they were fish from, I would say, um, so I know guys actually did pretty good right around the bridge. So bridge Oregon side on, or bridge on either the Oregon or Washington side up. Yesterday it was bridge Oregon or Washington side down. So just on that one or two tide cycles, those fish pushed up another 10, 15, 20 miles. Um, so yeah, you gotta be flexible. You can't say, hey, we killed them here today, so we're gonna go there tomorrow. It doesn't work that way down here. It just changes that quickly. And another thing uh, from today that I found kind of interesting, we're getting closer to those tides that Tongue Point fish as well. And today it, it did okay, uh, but mostly from yesterday, the areas that I fished, we really didn't see that many Chinook. Today it was mostly coho. We ended up with three or four Chinook and the rest coho. Man, these tides, we should be seeing an insane amount of Chinook for the forecast that we have. So one of two things is happening. Either the forecast is off, which has absolutely happened in the past and pretty regularly happens, or these fish are absolutely flying by. They are just nuking upstream, which seems to be the case if you look at the Bonneville Dam fish counts. We are way ahead of schedule and with increased flow and the water temperature dropping here these last couple weeks in the main stem Columbia, these fish can definitely be staging up down around buoy 10 and the CR buoy, that section right there because of the increased fresh water being pushed out. And so in the estuary itself, they're not staging up like they have been in years past and just rocketing upstream, which is why you guys upriver are doing so well and why there's already coho up in some of the tributaries and even above Bonneville Dam, there's coho and Chinook being caught way upstream already. So those are all just theories. It's nothing concrete. It's just what's been rattling around in my head here the last few days. Why are we not catching Chinook like we have in the past and not in the same places? We're having to hunt them up and we're getting those micro bites like we've seen in years past, but you can't just run laps on them, get in front of them constantly. They're just they're flying by. They're suspended in the water column and the ones that are suspended aren't biting too well. It's, it's a different year, but that is part of the fun of fishing down here. Every year is different. Every day is different. Every tide is different. And that's why you need to be flexible. You need to be versatile and you need, need to use past knowledge to find success each day. Unfortunately, that worked out for us and we got all of our fish. We got all 12, but we had to work for it and you have to be humble enough and confident enough at the same time to realize that you made a mistake and this morning i made a mistake i made a big one i thought the fish would be downstream and coming up since the tide was an hour later dropped in and it was maybe five minutes i said no this this is wrong we got to get out of here so we picked up a move and we fished for another 15 20 minutes and said we're still not there it's still not right so we had to keep moving until we found it. Once we did, we 
found them. We stayed on them as best we could and made the best that we could with the situation and conditions that we had. Uh, what definitely helped us get the rest of our limit was we ended on a quad. So can't complain about that. Getting four fish on, we landed all four, three in one net, one in the other. It, it was lucky. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And we'll take it today. <laughs> all right, guys. So tomorrow we'll see what changes happen. And hopefully we come in with another good report. We'll see you then.